that's going to be interesting to test. So I think for now, um, well, okay. There's only one way to find out if this is going to work. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Seven Days Die with the Rebirth Overhaul and the Purge scenario on the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we are going to start off by testing um, if we can jump off the top of the white tower here. Well, actually, with the lighting, it's kind of more like the gray tower right now. Um, and, you know, see if we can basically give ourselves uh, a way to escape in case this base gets attacked. Because if you did not see the last episode... Uh, I made the decision to to move here because this place is just uh, it's amazing, <laughs> and um, I I need to clean up all this iron too. And I did bring a load of stuff with me, um, but what? Um, yeah, okay. I tell you what. Let's let's go ahead and come in here. And is this a steel ladder? Yes, it is. Uh, okay. Well, I think it is. It's either steel or iron. It looks like steel. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to break off the bottom two rungs. So that way Zeke's can't get up the ladder. And then we'll go up to that, this first platform here, which is just right above my head, and st start storing things. And, uh, you know, just to kind of unload my inventory. And then what I need to do is I need to actually go harvest a bunch of grass so that we can make some hay bales. And then we're going to basically climb up to the top and jump off and see if we survive. Um, and if we don't survive, or if we survive but we break our leg or whatever, then we're going to have to figure out some mechanism to do like almost like a stair-step escape. Uh, because this this place is tough as hell. I mean, these blocks are 10,000 hit points plus all the blocks that surround the outside are 10,000 hit points. Now, obviously, the zombies are going to attack the door, so eventually what we would have to do is, you know, put a, a steel vault door in or three uh, and get other defenses going, too. But for, for the time being, um, you know, even if they do break through this door, as long as we have these ladders here, uh, the bottom two rungs of the ladders broken, they can't, they still can't get to us. And I'm not I'm not going to do anything down here in terms of you know, building stuff or storing anything so they can tear the shit out of all of this if they want to, or, or even that, or I might even salvage it just for the parts of, if, if the time, you know, I, I get to it before they tear it apart. So anyway, let's get these uh, bottom two rungs off of here first, and then we'll drop a few things off and then go pick some grass. We'll go touch some grass. That's what we'll do. Something I don't do as often as I used to. Okay, um, I've got some stuff in the bike, uh, including some extra containers. Uh, so let's grab, well, let's just grab all of it. It'll make us a bit encumbered, but we can, we can deal. Stay away from them fucking spikes, man. This thing's nabbed me several times in the last episode. And it wasn't my fault, it was the spike's fault. So don't even think about blaming me for that. Um, okay, so let's start off by placing this container here and we'll, we'll we'll probably just harvest these containers you can pick them up and use them as containers but they don't store as much stuff as as these boxes here do and I got uh, yeah here we go I was going to say, I have some of these boxes too, and I don't really care how they're organized at this point because this is all just temporary down here. Okay, so let's harvest these. Very good. Uh, what's that? That's, uh, that's boiled water. I meant to put that back in the fridge. Okay, so I'm just going to put shit in here uh, randomly. Don't care what it is at this point. 
or how it's organized. We'll deal with that later. Oh, shoot. I was going to go exchange that ammo, and I forgot to do that, but that's all right. Oh, you guys keep reminding me to turn the damn broadcast on, and I keep forgetting to do it. Okay. So now, what... Uh, <clears throat> quick stack. First click moves items from entry fill up your owned container. Second also creates new stacks to move items. Well, yeah, that's... But, but does that work with the broadcast, though? Um, I don't know. I don't need all of these hammers. We'll keep... Yeah, I got one hammer there. Want to keep the, the toolkit with us for now. So... Moves items from inventory. Moves items from inventory to fill up your owned container stacks. Moves items from inventory to fill up existing nearby container stacks. Also creates new stacks to move items. So does this just mean if you're on multiplayer and you own your own thing? All right, let's try something here. Let's put one hammer in here. And then if I do this. Oh, okay. So it it moved them in there. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and I'm I'm guessing that this does the same thing because I also own these containers. So again, my guess is that the this is just for multiplayer, and in our particular case, it, we could use either one. Okay, so now, uh, next order of business is for us to go touch grass. Ow! God damn it! All right, you know what? I wanted to leave these here because of the zombies, but I obviously have not grown up enough to handle spikes on my base. I cannot trust myself with spikes on the base, so we're removing them fuckers. And again, it's not my fault, it's the spikes' fault. They they lure me into them, and somehow I just can't resist. So that's the deal. Um, Alright, so let's go pick up a shit... Oh man, there's spikes out here too, that's right. So we've got to be careful. But uh, yeah, let's get a bunch of grass first to make hay bales, and I think... I think we can uh, just do that in our inventory. Let's see. Yep. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so I got uh, I got all the scrap iron, or most of it anyways, uh, cleaned up around. Well, I guess I have quite a bit more out there, but anything, uh, everything over on this side anyways, I got cleaned up pretty good. So I'm guessing, let's see, the edge of this is, hmm, okay, if we look straight up and then just kind of shimmy this way, it looks like that's about the edge of the platform up above right here. But <clears throat> we ideally, we want to jump out even further away from the tower because all the zombies are going to be around the base there banging on it. So we want to jump off and then just make a beeline to the north. So probably let's um yeah, let's come out, I don't know, maybe about to here-ish or at least for our test and then I can fine tune this later. All right. So that's going to be yeah. And um, that is a long Oh, fuck. Uh, a long jump down, too, so... We're going to want to make sure we can hit the platform. I don't remember. Can you direct... Can you steer your your fall in this game? I don't remember. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? So, okay, so that gives us a... Th well, it's not really... It is a 3x3, three three, but not really, because... We're working with rectangles, so let's also enlarge it maybe this way a bit, too. Um, we'll make one more to fill that in. Okay, <clears throat> so that's a pretty decent platform. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to jump all the way down here without taking some damage. But let's try it. Um, also, we need to be ready with a splint. 
um, which I, what do we need? Uh, oh, a tree branch and a rope. Okay, that's easy enough. At least we don't need duct tape for that. Thank you, Ramsey. Um, so let's make uh, the rope we can make right now. Uh, looks like we need... Wait a minute. Why does it say I have four... Oh, I'll bet you it's because of the broadcast. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's probably just picking up from the from there. I wonder what the range of that is. Yeah, see, we're out, out of the range now. And now we're in the range. That's a pretty decent range, I would say. That's right about here. Yeah, that's a really nice range. It should, it'll cover everything we do uh, on this base. Uh, you know, assuming we're not, well, see my plan guys, I think, I think my plan is to actually build a house. It'll just, it'll be a small house, but a house on top of the structure there. We'll, we'll do storage and crafting and stuff like that down inside, but, but the actual living quarters will, will build up at the very top. And I do want to, you know, I do want to keep it mostly around this area. I'd, I'd get a little bit leery going too far out just for structural integrity purposes. So anyway, okay, so what we're doing, uh, we need, we're making a splint, right? So we need to get ourselves some tree branches. So let's cut this tree down here. Okay, so now we have a splint. And we also probably should have full health, too. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So let's take one of those. All right, here we go. All the way to the top. Okay. Um... You know, the other thing, too, is especially if, if I got a running jump, we could probably jump all, quite a ways further out. But that's that would that's going to be interesting to test. So I think for now, um, well, OK. There's only one way to find out if this is going to work. Oh, shit. OK, so I can Ouch. Okay, so that didn't kill us, but it did what I was expecting it would do. It broke our leg, uh, and it took our health down almost half. So that's, yeah, okay. So let's use this. Um, so what that means is we're going to have to figure out, we're going to have to figure this out in stages. Um, so... So I guess what what I would do is I would build um I would build a platform up a ways We'd have to we'd have to do kind of like a, a stair step a stair step thingy. I just I, the thing that I'm not sure about is how far down can we go in other words if we go halfway up, will that be enough distance to not to take damage? So it's just a a, a one, you know, one uh, or, or a two jump I, uh, platform. So one halfway up and then one on the ground. Or do we have to do it like in three increments? That I'm not sure about. Okay. Um. So... To build blocks, we need, yeah, I know, you're going to be in pain for a while, dude, that's all there is to it, I don't even think I brought a steroid with me, um, to build blocks, we need wood and nails, so this is not going to be a simple thing to do, um, so I have to decide, do we just move here and get all of our shit set up? And if we do get attacked, we just make sure we have a splint and more than half health before we jump off. I think I'm going to do it that way because I, I need to kind of set up shop and get workstations set up um, before I get too serious about building this thing. Because it's not as simple as vanilla where we can just throw together a bunch of blocks 
and then do it, you know. Um, there's more involved than that. Can I pick these up, by the way? I can't. Okay, so those will those will have to be remade because you know, the first platform will be about here, and then the second one will be even further out, so we'll have to cut some trees down and stuff. And it would be interesting to try and gauge if we did get a running jump, how far out we could actually go. But that is definitely not something I'm prepared to do at this point in time. So I think what we're going to do right now is um, we're going to go ahead and just move all of our stuff over here and kind of kind of get set up. And if I get attacked by a horde in the meantime, um, you know, we just have to we have to take the painful jump to to get out of here. Uh, which also means we should uh, we should park our bike over near the hay bales too and not out front here. Um, I did get attacked by a horde last night too in you know, I don't know, probably about 11, 12 o'clock at night. And I tried to start the recording, but I was scrambling so bad that I hit the wrong buttons. And then by that time I said, fuck it. <laughs> but I got away from them. They, they did very minimal damage to the house. And they, you know, they hit me a couple times, but I was able to get away from them. And it didn't kill me. Uh, speaking of which, we, we have had one death and I killed myself. Um, that was my fault. That happened in the last episode. Uh, because I stepped on a spike that I didn't even know was there <clears throat> and died. So there you go. That's my fault. I'm my own worst enemy, right? Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to clean up the rest of this shit here. And then I'm going to just start hauling everything over from the house over to here. Um, I, and I'm going to initially just put everything down lower in this first storage area. And then slowly, you know, move it up and put it into its more permanent location as uh as as we go along okay so that's the plan uh this is going to take a while so what i might end up doing is working on this for the rest of this day the, see the thing is is we, we're not in a hurry right and well at least not in terms of having to be ready for a horde night uh so you know and, and that's that's kind of nice to be honest with you it removes that pressure of having to be ready for a horde night um so i may take the rest of this day day five and work on this and then just bring you guys back uh when i'm finished uh or maybe i'll work on it for a little bit and then we'll go do a poi i don't know you but you guys will know in a few moments what my decision is on that so i'll see you in a bit all right guys um i've got a horde coming after me uh, they showed up right as i showed up to the tower so we might see if we can actually kill some of them. I really don't want to expend my ammo if I don't have to. And we're right on the tail end of the sprain disappearing too. So let's get a little further down and then... We've got uh, the fast ones are coming in quick. Yeah, I'm going to have a hard time doing this without getting hurt. Case, case in point. And now I got some kind of a critter after me, too. It sounded like maybe it was a pig. Ow. I wish they could have waited just, you know, a little bit longer for my leg to at least heal. I mean, come on. Rude zombies. Okay, so the one that I tagged is quite a ways out in front, so we should be able to take her out. Now, let's hit another one. Man, sometimes you just hit E and you don't mount on the bike. Fucking dangerous as hell, man. Oh, the pig's attacking too. Okay. There's a wolf right there. Right, the one that I just tagged, is she still aggroing on me? I 
think maybe the the pig might have gotten her. All right, let's go back and see. Uh, okay, good. Our sprain's finished. There's a wolf. That wolf too. I don't want to. I don't really want to mess with that wolf because it takes too many bullets to kill him. Well, the pig for that matter too. So it looks like the pig took her out. I wonder if that pig took any damage. Softened up a little bit, you know. Oh shit, I was afraid that was gonna happen. Okay, let's go. We'll circle around and butcher the pig. Lead the wolf away. Uh, is it stuck? Oh yeah, it's stuck on the thing. That's funny. All right, well, we can make every shot count. We're level four. Uh, there's a bear aggroed. Hurry. It looks like we may have destroyed some of the meat with our shots, but it is what it is. We got 18 pieces of meat and other things for our trouble, so it wasn't, certainly wasn't a waste. I need to look at the frequency that I have the random horde set to. I have to assume that um, they don't come like one right after the other. So that means we should have a little bit of, of a grace period here. Okay, so we're, we'll park over here, and I'm uh, I'm really encumbered, but I do have a splint on me, and well, we were over half health <laughs> until all that happened. Uh, do I have a small bandage? I don't. Okay, well, let's um see if we can make one because I think I have I have some aloe cream. I'm not I'm just not sure if I have it here yet because I'm I'm not done moving everything over here. So let's just go into here first. Um, actually, here, let's do this. Um, oh, I have some aloe cream on, uh, on me. That's good. All right, so let's put you down there. And because these are all broadcasting, I should be able to just craft from here without having to... Uh, open stuff up I want to sell this athletic outfit I don't see any good reason to hang on to it that we should stop back by uh, both of these actually we should put in the cop car on our way back and I did bring everything over from the base except for the kitchen sink because I can't pick it up can pick up everything else but the kitchen sink it's kind of funny actually can we can we craft a sink um there might be like a helper block for that furniture i, I don't know we'll we'll worry about that later if we actually cannot craft it then what i'll do is uh that's not a helper block 
Uh, I, I can always spawn it in from the creative menu if we have to, so. Okay, before we go upstairs, um, well, actually, do I have... I do have stone, okay. We do have stone in one of these boxes. It's nice to be able to sprint back up this ladder, because before I, I was doing this, <laughs> because I couldn't sprint with my messed up leg. So I set a little medical box right here, because this is right where we come up at. And then I put the kitchen in this corner. Let's put you there, and then we'll grab you two. You need to go in there. All right, and then we're just going to make some more. Oh, frick, I don't think I have any, any fuel with me. Is... What is this used for besides cooking that? It's used for torches, which we don't really need. So, yeah, I'm just going to always turn this into cooking fat. But I need fuel. Um, okay, so... Eh, I don't want to scrap a, a block. They're too relatively expensive to make at, at this point in time anyways once we kind of get set up and start getting more supplies that it, it won't be that big of a deal now i can do the hop off the ladder and slide down thing but if you don't time that right you end up breaking your leg again and i don't particularly want to do that um i'd also want let's do a shift eight let's pick this back up and I'll always keep that with us and i just need some wood for now there we go All right, I want to, I'm just gonna make grilled meat with all of this for now. And then we'll also make cooking fat. We just need a couple minutes of burn time. We have three and that will shut off. In fact, you know what we ought to do is just put a big fucking stack of wood in there and leave it in there forever. And because it shuts off, which is just the best thing since sliced bread, man. I tell you what, we could find some dog food we could uh, we could make some more of that tamale stuff. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll drop this off at the trader. Uh, I want to put the murky water in here. We're gonna set those in the cop car on our way back for our next trip, and I also have a few more things in the bike. So I'm gonna keep working on this move. Uh, I mostly just brought you back to show you the horde, and uh, I'll bring you back here in a little bit. And we'll probably go ahead and go do at least one purge uh, at the end of this episode. All right, guys. Um, I discovered, oh, to my guess. great you delight, need to buy something. I What's need to matter? sell something. What you looking for? Shut up, asshole. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I know, but cheap ass son of a bitch. Know, a of a bitch. I wish I could shoot that motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, um. So, yeah, I discovered to my great delight that uh, the traders open 24-7. I can come in here at nighttime and trade shit. That was awesome. Um, so here's the thing. We've, you know, I mean, obviously I still have a lot of work to do at the base, but we, we got to get we got to get serious here. Um, you know, and, and we got to play the purge like the purge is meant to be played. Uh, meaning that, you know, we can still do other seven days to dies types of things that you do in this game. But uh, if we're going to get serious about doing our thing, I need ammo. That's the thing that's really going to hold me up. I mean, we, you know, we can make repair kits now. Um, so that's not really a problem, but it's the ammunition that's the problem. And, you know, obviously I can use the axe too, and we want to level that. But But our bread and butter is the M60. And so, to make ammunition, we need a mortar and pestle, right? Because I was I was looking at this before I started the camera. So we can make ammo in the workbench, which we can you know set up, of course. But to make gunpowder, we need a mortar and pestle, right? And this dude has a a ghost's quest or mission that will give us the mortar and pestle as a reward, or at least the blueprint for it. Um. But we got to raise $1,350 mekihala to do that. So, 
Um, I, I think that needs to be our highest priority uh, right now to do that. And so, you know, I mean, we're, we're over halfway there. I have also been using money to buy water too, because I'm, you know, I don't want to expend my vitamins drinking the, the boiled water, but we're going to probably just have to have a come to Jesus meeting here to get money. And I think it seems to me like the best way I can do that or the most immediate way I can do that is probably to start salvaging cars and selling the parts. Um, because I'm not really sure how else at this point that we can, you know, make any significant amount of money. We can't do jobs and get paid for them, you know? Um, so to that end, I think we're going to go ahead and, and do that. We're going to wrench cars. Uh, are all of these level one iron tools repaired with duct tape? Uh, this one in particular. Yes, it is. Okay. So at least we don't have to make a full-on repair kit for those like we would in vanilla. And I actually have a bunch of wrenches too, so I should just probably just use them all up until they all break and then we can repair them, you know. Uh, we're pretty much moved from here. I got just a couple more things to get out of this place. Um, and we did put some tools in that workbench. Let's move this over to... To here. I don't even know why I'm carrying that torch. I haven't used it a single time. I should probably get rid of it. What is this? That feels like sand. Okay, so let's take this apart. And I'm going to just, like I said, I'm going to take the parts, mechanical parts, electrical parts, all that stuff. I'm just going to sell it. Um, Yeah, let's take those things to, to the trader. And... Let's do that. So I'm just going to do that until I can make enough money and then we'll buy that ghost mission and then we'll do it. And in doing it, we will, speaking of ghosts, <laughs> uh, in the process of doing it uh, or as a result of doing it, we will get the mortar pestle and I can start making gunpowder so I can start making ammunition and then we can really start kicking ass and taking names. So that is the plan. Um, all right, so I know that plastic uh, sells for quite a bit of money in um, Dirty Dell's motor oil. <laughs> nice. Uh, in, you know, in vanilla, so I don't know if it'll do the same here. I'm not going to pick that up because I have plenty of them. But everything, you know, that I that I salvage right now that the trader will buy from me. I'm going to sell to him until we get to... Do I have stuff in here? Oh, shit. I got a bunch of stuff in there. I forgot I put all that in there. All right. I guess we have another big load to take. So, yeah. Let me... Um, I'm just going to salvage and sell until I get enough money to buy that mission. And then once I buy it, I'll bring you guys back. And we'll go do the ghost mission to get ourselves a mortar and pestle. All right, I got a few things to sell to Rick, but I still have You're to go back to our base to drop some stuff up. up. You know the drill, <clears> asshole. <throat> okay, so we'll sell this alternator because I already have one in the cop car. I've got, already got a car radi radiator. I don't care about the truck radiator right now. Small motor. Um, <clears throat> don't let the what is this used for? Way out. Shredder table saw. Yeah, we should. Pr I think I may already have one of those, but we should probably hang on to it. You want something? Just in case. Um, let's sell you the springs. You don't want that stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll sell you the toolbox. Um, you can have the electrical parts. You don't want the iron. We'll sell you the mechanicals. We'll sell the oil, the plastic. Oh, you can shove that. Oh, we can't right sell plastic. Is it just because I don't have enough, or is it because we can't sell plastic? I don't know. Interesting. I will sell him the pipes. And that gets... Okay, so that gets us up to... We're almost there. So a few more car... Uh, I'm just looking down on my tool wire here. A few more car... All right. Now that we're done salvages, business, and we should... Get out of my store. Raise that 1300 and some odd... What is it again? 
Let's take a look again. Um, 1350. Okay, so that's what we need to raise. All right, I'm going to go back to the base, drop the, this final load off, and then grab all of the other wrenches that I have and just keep using them until they all break. And then, obviously, if we need to wrench more, um, I will we'll make some duct tape to repair one. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, look at that. We just got wrench quality tool. Um, how do we make that? We probably need... How do we make that in our little box there? Okay, well, I'm going to use the rest of these wrenches up first, and then then we'll make an orange wrench. Um, yeah, we should have enough stuff to do that. We need to make sure we can make the workbench first, though, before we do that. Um, and also, as you can see, I decided, well, since I was going to wrench a bunch of stuff, and I need to clear all the crap out of this room up in our tower anyways, might as well wrench all of this, and we're getting a bunch of electrical parts in particular as well as um, uh, iron too. So that's good. This stuff here is 1,000 hit point iron blocks. Yeah, it's going to be solid. Okay, so that's going to be an off-camera thing that I'll take care of uh, later. And I cleared all of this stuff out of this room. There's some conduit in the couple of electrical things down here too all right i'm sure we have enough now to to get that uh ghost mission once i sell all these electrical well i'm not gonna sell all of them we'll sell some of them but we want to keep some of them too let's do something though before we take off to the trader and set that down there and uh where is my oh there it is okay now let's set this down oh i guess i have some conduit I... oh my god that kind of goes all the way up okay um well we can wrench that at some point too for for more electrical parts but what i want to do is we've got to have the workbench to make the ammo as well as the um which i'm gonna call it the mortar and pestle, right? So to make that, got my caps lock on workbench. Let's uh, let's track that. And do I have? I've got fifteen steel ingots, so I have fifteen iron ingots. Oh shit! I only have six. Hmm. All right, I'll tell you what then. Let's take this iron uh, with us and the clay, and we can use, uh, well, I think we can use the trader's forge. I'm just checking to see if I have any more iron anywhere else. Well, it looks like that's, that's what we have right there, 2,500. Okay, um, so we need this and we need the screwdriver, which is in one of these cases somewhere. There it is. Okay, so we'll put those in there. Um, and then we're just going to need 10 mechanical parts. I'm going to set these aside now so that way we, we have them. Uh, we're going to need 20 nails, which I should have. Yeah, we got lots of nails here. Okay, uh, we're going to need six boards or wood planks. And we need the repairable crafting station. So, yeah, we just need to come up with 10 more iron ingots. Uh, nine more, actually. Yeah, so we'll need nine more of these. And then we should have everything to make the workbench. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess I have, I have two vitamins left, so... Oh, we've got th three of these. Okay, let's just eat all of these. And if I, if I have to, I can make 
some grilled corn and baked potatoes. Uh, if we can come up with two more pieces of meat, we can make another bacon and eggs too. But, um, yeah, so we should have enough stuff to make the tamale stuff, right? A uh, can of miso. Right. Okay, so let's... I'm not going to eat this right now because um, we're in pretty good shape, but we'll just cook it, and that way we'll have it for later. And we'll put all the rest of this stuff back in here. Okay, so that's all stuff to sell. That's going to the cop car. That we're going to put in the smelter. Oh, right. I just... I put my clay away, but we need actually need that. Well, I think so. I haven't actually really paid attention to what the mod requires for smelting iron. Um, I hope that it lets us... Hmm. I wonder if we're going to have to have an anvil and stuff like that, though. Well, let's go find out. Okay, we're at our cop car here. And so we want to put this in. And we need one more headlight. Starter, pump, carburetor, transmission, and two more wheels. So we're getting there. Okay, we are at Rectum's place. Uh, first thing I want to do is can I... Oh, I keep forgetting. That's right. We don't need... We don't need to smelt stuff into the forge. But we need an anvil to make the iron. Shit, I forgot about that. Okay. So that's going to be a showstopper for the for the moment. Um And this just needs iron. That doesn't require clay either. You want to buy some clay? Look, motherfucker, I'm already overstocked on those. Okay, so that got us up to 1,800 coins. Be careful out there. You wouldn't want to get hurt. I need to find another vending machine. There's one across the way there because I'm thirsty. Um, Actually, hold on. Does he have any iron ingots for sale? Take or a an... look, buy some shit, get he does. the hell out. Okay, does he have an anvil for sale? He doesn't. All right, so we I said we needed nine of these, right? Oh, so I'll well, tell you what. Please, I don't even know why I opened the doors. Let's go ahead and buy this. Okay, so that's done. Now, do we have enough money left over to buy nine ingots. I sell to anyone, even morons like you. Yes, we do. Okay. No refunds. Deal's done. Now, now beat, beat it, it fucker. fucker. <laughs> you, can tell, you can tell I play this game way too much, right? All right, let's run over here and grab some water. Um, we can buy one of those. Can we use his, uh, shredder to scrap all of these wrenches? Uh, where did I see that at? Is that over here? Yeah. Oh, it needs a propane tank. Okay. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to leave these in here for now, then. Um, And if we come across a propane tank, we'll come back for those later. All right, let's see what this ghost mission is all about. By completing this mission, you will be rewarded with the following item, mortar and pestle. Let's read it. Rumor has it that Black Shield has been experimenting with robotic technology, and some of their prototypes escaped. Someone needs to hunt them down. Here's 40 bullets and a stone sledgehammer. You'll come to learn that not all weapons are effective against metal entities. Use guns or blunt weapons. Here's a few bandages for when you end up bleeding from their bites. 
After killing all of the prototypes, you will find the following item. Mortar and pestle schematic. Okay. Why does it say Briston's given that to us when it was the other guy? It gave us the wrong kind of bullets, and a sledge stone sledgehammer is useless to us. But we can exchange these bullets for a few more 762. Like 15 more. And that gives us a total of 52. 53. Okay. Um, all right. So this is our very first. Oh, shit. That's a long ways away. Um, okay. Well, let's head on over there. Hopefully we can do this with 52 rounds because once we, once we get this knocked out, you know, then we're going to be able to make our own ammunition. So that's the, that's what we're pushing for here. And it looks like we're probably going to end up doing this at night too, but I don't, that doesn't really matter a whole lot except for the fact that you can't see shit because it's all blackout. But I mean, the hordes seem to show up. In, at any random point in time. Sometimes they come at night. Sometimes they come during the day. But I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but there there are no zombos out wandering around in the world. There's wolves and bears and moose, <laughs> right? But there's no there's no zombos, not even at night. So that means, you know, we can, we're just as safe as night as we are at any other point in time, except for the fact that it's harder to see, of course. I have no idea what this mission is about, how we're going to do it, but, you know, something just occurred to me, though. I don't think an axe is considered a blunt weapon. Maybe we should not have thrown that sludge out after all, but we can make another one. I'm not going back for it, so. In fact, maybe we should do that because if these enemies are not super tough I'm going to look at the map here and we might be able to kill him just with the sledgehammer hey look at that there's another white tower and it's turbines are are off too okay I'm not seeing a road over there um, so I guess we're gonna go, go into the Thule's, but whilst we're here, let's just take a quick look and see what's down here. That's the radio station. Okay, so this isn't really a town. It's just a a little junction, I suppose. All right, well, let's go back. Um, there was a wolf kind of right where we need to go. That I'd rather not, this isn't lootable, expend ammunition on. Let's see what's in this hot rod here. Check these vehicles here. That's not lootable. That's, oh, whoops. What all do you need? I did find a, a mini bike wheel. I have a small engine, a battery. If we could find one more mini bike wheel, I have all the rest of this stuff. Okay, let's mark this. The only thing is, is um, that it's mini bike one word or two words. I think it's one word. If we start using the mini bike, then we have to worry about gasoline. We don't have to worry about gasoline on the bike. And it seems to me like there's no stamina usage on the bicycle either. I was noticing that the other day. So 
I don't know. We'll see. It's an option, I suppose. The one thing it would, I mean, assuming it's like vanilla, the one thing it would have that the bike doesn't is more inventory slots. That would be a pretty significant plus. Um, What are the... Okay, yeah. Don't think I'm going to grab that. Honey seems to be a little easier to get in the mod than it does in vanilla, so as long as we just you know, stay on top of that if we get infected, I think we'll be fine. There's a decent little pile of loot there. It's quite possible that that wolf has actually despawned since we kind of left the area. That wasn't my intent, but... I don't see him. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's just pick the bike up and put it here. Let's just walk over there. So is this just going to randomly spawn some robots or something? I think that's what's going to happen. All right. Well, before that happens, then let's let's make that remake that sledge. I, I wasn't paying attention. So we need ten stones, ten sticks, and three rope. Oh, fuck! All right. Well, more meat for us, right? I didn't. Uh, Wait for my weapon to fully load either. So let's try that again. Okay, so we'll put that in the number four slot. And let's get rid of these other stones so we're not encumbered. Uh, if things get really nasty, we've got the bike on the number nine slot that we can use to try and escape. And also, um, I might it might behoove us to pop a beer, plus that'll give us a little hydration anyways. Before we start this. And also, before we start this, I gotta go to the bathroom in real life. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause the game. All right, guys, let's give this thing a shot. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a beer, uh, both because we need to for hydration, plus it'll make us um, stronger for a little bit. All right, I'm, I guess I guess we have robots or something we got to kill. Let's see what happens. What the hell? I hear sn Oh, shit, there's snakes. Okay, um... It looks like we have help, too. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's a lot of snakes. Am I even hitting these guys? Seems like I'm just hitting the, the ground. Oh, my God, that's a lot of snakes. So the, what are these robotic ghost snakes? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, I think I'm hitting them because it's making like a clanking sound as if they were... You know, metal, made out of metal. Ghost metal, that's what it is, it's ghost metal. Ouch, shit, that hurt. I wish somebody would make a mod where rattlesnakes in this game actually poisoned you like rattlesnakes are supposed to do. All right, well, let's take that. Okay, it's kind of nice that uh, I have some, some buddies to help with this shit. Oh, fuck. Now I'm stunned. <laughs> Run away! These guys are tough rattlesnakes, too, man. Of course, I guess you would be if you were a rattlesnake made out of metal. Ow! Oh, 
I'm in the trees. Let's stay next to our buddies here because they can uh, help us. I can handle one or two, but when we get all of those guys on us, it gets a little nasty. I, um, if I can do this with a sledgehammer, I, I will. You know, I'd like to save my ammo if I can. God, they are hard to kill, though. Holy shit. Maybe I should just be using my bullets. Let's try a power attack there. Oh, one of them's down. Oh, he's not dead. He just got knocked down. Okay. Ghost, Metal Ghost Rattlesnakes. That's what we're going to name this episode. Have I even killed a single one of them yet? <laughs> I don't know. These guys have, apparently. Yeah, this would be very difficult to do if you didn't have these buddies helping you. At least, you know, at the stage of the game that I'm in. Will you fucking just die? Fucker won't die, man. Uh, did I get him? Nope, he's still chasing me. Ah, uh, get out of the trees. Oh! Is that the loot? Okay, I guess we get it. We don't have to kill all of them before we get the loot. Hey, do you guys want to stick around and have a beer afterwards? Maybe you can... Help me out here. You know, I'm going to grab this now because I don't want to take a chance of it this despawning. The thing that's kind of embarrassing, and don't tell anybody this, okay? I don't know if I've killed a single one of these things. <laughs> oh, shit. Ouch. All right. Let's, um... Hey, we killed one. All right. Thanks, Declan. He doesn't have anything to say to me. What about you? Asher. Okay. Well, you guys are the mans. I appreciate your help. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we have learned the Mortar and Pestle schematic. Let's grind some shit. Okay. That was unique. <laughs> Wasn't expecting snakes. <coughs> I thought we were going to get like, um, well, I didn't know what we were going to get. I thought we were going to get some kind of robots, but I guess they were metal robotic ghost snakes. That's what they were. Whew. Okay. Let's get back out on the road here. We'll go home, we'll make our workbench, and we'll make our mortar and pestle. All right, guys, we're back at the base here, and we should have everything we need now to make a working workbench. So we'll craft that, and we have everything we need to make the mortar and pestle. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so once those are done, uh, I'm actually going to take them upstairs because we're not going to keep all this stuff down here. And I will slowly move all of this stuff upstairs. Um, you know, as time goes on. So in terms of gunpowder, do we just need the usual shit? Yeah, coal and nitrate. Okay. One thing I haven't actually done yet in this mod is mine. Like, actually go mining. Um, we have... A little bit of coal there. And any nitrate that I do have, which isn't going to be much, um, we do have um, bullets and, and casings there. Um, but yeah, any nitrate that I do have would have come from just harvesting, um, you know, like rotten corpses and shit. So we got 142. So yeah, we're going to have to go do some mining in order to get a decent enough quantity 
of that stuff to make it worthwhile. But we'll we'll get started with what we do have first of all. All right, they're both ready. Let's pick up those tools and pick this up, and we'll go upstairs and figure out where we're going to put these things. My general thought is that we use this upstairs area here for general storage. Um, or maybe even actually use this room for that purpose. And then this will kind of be our, our crafting area, at least to start with. I will eventually, you know, remove all of these blocks. So this is all opened up here. Um, but like I've mentioned, um, my long, longer term plan is to actually build a nice little house up here on top of the tower. Um, at least, you know, for living quarters and stuff like that. So uh, for now, however, let's go ahead and set up our workbench here and the mortar and pestle. Um, I guess we'll put that right there. Okay. So we can make... Well, that that goes actually pretty damn fast. Okay, so that gave us 83 gunpowder. And then for ammunition. Oh, right, we need the hammer and pliers, and we need the screw driver. We can make 27. That's a decent amount of ammo <laughs> compared to, you know, what we've had access to so far anyway. All right, cool. And then, yeah, I think for now, what I might actually do is um, set up these cardboard storage boxes down here. And then as we are able to do so, I'll make real storage boxes and put them up in this room and then, you know, move stuff up accordingly. I think that's how we'll handle this. So everything that's going to be down here is going to still just kind of be random, random shit for now until we can get per more permanent storage going. That's awesome. Okay. All right, guys. Well, the plan is going to be that um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and m find some nitrate and coal. Hopefully that all just works the same. I'm assuming that's a coal node right there. And uh, I don't know what that, blue, what that blue shit is unless that's lead. Uh, but hopefully we can find a nitrate mine and I'll go get a whole mess of nitrate and coal. Yeah, right there. Okay, so that's probably nitrate right there. Um, I'm going to even do this so that I can make a bunch of gunpowder so that I can make a bunch of ammo. And then we're going to really start hitting the, um, you know, the, the purges. Because if you look down here in the lower left-hand corner, we have 542 POIs that we have to clear before. Uh, well, I don't know if that's the total number of POIs in the forest or if it's the 75% mark, which we have to reach before we can really effectively go to an, you know the next biome, which, of course, would be the desert. Um, so that's a long ways to go. So we really need to get cracking on that. All right, 27 rounds of 762. It's a beautiful thing. So once I have a nice little pile of 762 ammo, I'll start the next episode and we will go start purging this place because it needs to be purged. And in the meantime, I'll, you know, off camera like I said, I'll work on you know getting some of this shit out of here. Um let's also let's eat this now. Because we're very thirsty and we're very hungry. And I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go ahead and consume a vitamin. Um and just drink a bunch of boiled water because 
That's kind of our only option right at the moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and watch out for ghost metal snakes. You never know when they might strike. Dangerous.